In today's video, you're going to see me fix up this old Tanko wrapper and adapt it for the three-point linkage on the John Deere. Like many things in this yard, it was found on Dundeal uh, for a decent price and very locally from a man of the name of Pat Garrity. He's a contractor actually over in Balnakil and uh, this was sitting in a shed for the last four or five years because he has a McHale fusion now, as many do, doing the whole job and uh, it was actually used on a wheel loader that he had when he did a lot more pit silage and he doesn't have it anymore. So yeah, this was sitting four or five years according to him before he got rid of the wheel loader as well. I think it was out of commission because it was missing this uh, gripped roller that I've since put on. Story behind the roller missing, he left it in to get welded at some place. They lost it and they told them a year after that uh, someone had thrown it out accidentally, probably one of the employees just uh, cleaning up the workshop. Then I did some welding around the back to adapt it for the three-point linkage. It's a Tanko 1300EH. It's a 2008 machine. It is a um, single dispenser, as you can see. Plenty for us. The speed of the baler isn't anything near um, modern machines, so the wrapper doesn't have to be fast at all. It has the new clocks in it. You can set it all up. One button to push and it'll do the whole job automatically and um, sure that's it yeah mounted on the three-point linkage now when they were advertising them they had them on front loaders but uh, it's a bit too heavy with the bale and everything I'd say on a front loader unless you had a big tractor with a big front loader on it but uh, and you see them on telehandlers and the likes diggers or what not so that's the wrapper first things first anyway we'll show it to the boss and then we'll get into it, fixing it all up See, it has two rollers. It's like a bay lifter that picks it up, but oh yeah, that's just the one thing that's missing. Have you, you have you had to get many parts for it? It's a roller. Roller, yeah. yeah. And a oh. bolt. Is, is that an old maker? It's an Irish make. They're out down in Carlow, but uh, it's 2008, huh? But that's the clock, so you set it all up, yeah. and all you do is press. Press one button. Press the button here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, looks great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you have to get this roller. Yeah. Just leaving the Tanko factory now with the roller in the boot. But well, that's it. Absolutely fantastic. It is sweltering day here. That's why I'm down. I would have got it uh, sent up by courier or otherwise, but hopefully we'll get the roller on and we'll get baling and wrapping this evening for the first time. But a uh, two hour journey home. No rest for the wicked. And we are ready to go here.
So I have my tabs on the bottom for attaching the lower links on the tractor and the top link, of course, as well. I'd love to get a bit of paint on that before it gets any bit of surface rust on it. Um, but I'm just going to pivot it here one way and hook it up to the tractor and finally give it a proper test with the hydraulics and with the bale and everything. And I have the roll of wrap on it just to um, dial it in and adjust the settings for wrapping a bale. So we're getting places. That worked out pretty well for me. Just needs a lick of paint. I'll get that done later on, but we'll hook this up to the tractor now. And as I said, give it a test.